King of my heart, and uh, to my knowledge, it's the original key A. Uh, man, I got to tell you, listening to this with the isolated tracks, it is just way different from what I would play if I was uh, presented the song one without the tracks and, uh, yeah, just what I would play at church. But I will go with EG1, uh, which listening to it, I observe like later when there's like some solos going on, seems to be split. So we're just going to cover that first half that's in uh, EG1. And it's really not too bad. I don't recall that EG2 was bad, but it was different. I'll say that EG1 was kind of obvious. Um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of live play this one like I do from time to time. Uh, so, speaking of it being, quote unquote, empty, uh, it's not there, but I would uh, just kind of instinctively, of course, I have that energy where I, I, I feel weird if I'm not doing something. <laughs> uh, the the chords I, I would maybe play would probably be the, the just in the order, the A, D string down for these as the lead guitar player. Uh, D... Uh, seven six five five. That's your A. Uh, you could. There's a lot of different things we could do. Uh, like you for the D, you could just go, just play from the D down seven seven seven. Like, don't worry about the high E. If you were to worry about the high E, you'd want to play 10. Back to the 5, 6. Well, back to the A. For the F sharp, of course, a few different things you could do. But because it's not even there, just use what I'm saying. We could go over another version another time. Uh, for the F sharp, go down to, uh, again, from the D string down, uh, F, for the F sharp minor, F, not F, 4, 2, 2, 2. So, so, so far again, we have the A, two, three, four, two, two, then here's the F sharp right here, four, two, two, two. I personally always like, uh, and I do this in other songs too, but uh, on this particular chord, the way it goes to the E after, I like to rise to the inversion, uh, leading with the third. So I'll show you the E if you want to play that. It'd be 2, 1, open, open. And I think it's back to the D after that. Uh, but the way I would play it would be, uh, or prefer to play it, uh, take that 4, 2, 2, 2 and move it up a whole step to where you're on 6, 4, 4, 4 and add that middle finger on the B string. That's an inverted E, so I'll, I'll do that. So one, two, three, da, 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 like so. And actually, just throwing it out there, you could recycle that same E shape for the D. So a good. Da, da, da. So you would take that same six four five four down to four two three two, uh, instead of jumping back to here. To me, it, it is kind of erratic uh, going from this E shape to that D. But so it could have went. Da, 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 So, uh, but I'm going to carry on because that's not really even there. So, I think the first guitar lick I, or note, it's not even a lick, it's just a note that I hear is in the uh, chorus. It's a down chorus. Um, it's just this note here. And I, I think, I mean, listening to the, the tone from the recording, one, let's just say it's a C sharp note. It's a third of the A. Uh, nine of the high E is kind of where I naturally went to play it, but listening to the tone, I would probably play it on 14 of the B 
just because it's a little bit warmer more belly sounding but whichever um and honestly i i need to play it and be live now because i've kind of forgotten the, the patterns Just to spice that up a little bit, just a little bit. I'm trying to stick to the track. I just can't. I hear so many things, especially in uh, worship music, where it's just big, long pads and there's nothing really going on, I guess, besides the vocal. I hear so many things. But you could maybe add a, a note to that, and maybe you might volume swell into it. But even if you just hit, the, hit these two notes, so basically from... Uh, either the nine of the E or the 14 of the B, you just skip a string and add your middle finger. So then you're playing, I don't know why it seems like I'm quiet now, uh, playing the uh, fifth and the third. That wasn't the right direction. Either way, same thing on 14. It'd be 14 of the B and the uh, D or nine of the E and G. Uh, but I'm going to carry on. It's it's starting the uh, second verse right here. And now it is kind of a part in my recollection. Okay, so it more or less repeats. Um, so, but you can kind of basically just start with a light open A chord. But it really, uh, excuse me, uh, excuse me. You'd really want to play that to start. It, it it emulates the vocal part, like the same notes and everything. So as you're holding the A chord, hit the B string, B, G, D, and then, uh, so, then uh, three of the B, and then two of the B, and then the F sharp note, as the F sharp chord is happening with the rest of the band, four of the D, back to two of the B, to four of the G, and then uh, it's like a two count. And then on the D, two, four, uh, two of the G, and then back to an open A. So again, from the beginning of that, one, two, three, four. Something of that nature. Um, basically, again, I, I, I believe it repeats. It's slightly different, but you could almost just play that and get away. I'm backing way up so I can know where I am because it kind of sucks that you can't hear any vocals to know what's going on. <laughs> or a click. I think this is the beginning of the pre chorus.
yeah, what I told you there, it, 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 there can be variation. Um, and I'm really thinking about or speaking about the ending. <laughs> Seemed like I heard it and I didn't hear it, but uh, you could kind of change the rhythm maybe and just play, again, just holding the A, uh, two, two of the D to two of the A, and then, uh, not two of the A, two of the D to two of the G, then uh, open A. So it would sound like, uh, I'm going to play, see, we need a click. You need something to understand the rhythm, and I know when you're playing, it's going to be a click. I'm going to, sorry, pause this for one second. No, I'm not. I hate it when the videos like chop. Um, I gotta figure out the tempo though. That's the issue. That's definitely not fast enough. <coughs> We're getting closer. I'm gonna make it 140. I don't know what it actually is supposed to be. It might say in Planet Center. It typically, for me anyway, does. Uh. Yeah, they got it at, looks like 68. So, double that, that'd be, uh, yeah, 136. So, I was a little fast. Okay, so, that part now. One, two, verse right here. Look, the king. So notice it was it's a longer wait. I tried playing open, like playing that same rhythm as the first one, playing open D to two to two of the G, and then the open, but it doesn't really sound right. Uh, but try it. Try, try that open D. See how you feel about it. Sorry, I just realized everything's cut off by my mouth. Uh, it seemed like anyway. Anyhow, uh, that's that. Again, you can either play one. Uh, the ending would be two, three. So... using the open D one two three four or just making it only a two note ending or three note ending excuse me versus four uh, so it'd be one two four like so I'm gonna carry on uh, to the chorus though now, uh, which I can, I can kind of tell you what it is already, but let me go ahead and play through it with the recording. Okay, so the chorus is going to be uh, five and five on the B and the E. I would play with the middle because we're going to need the fourth fret of the G pretty much immediately after. So, you are good. Then you add that four. So, five and five and the four. You are good. Uh... And that sounds very, very similar to what was happening or what I was saying. I felt like I was hearing in the uh, verse there. 
And it very well might be. That's why I said try to, what I'm getting at is it's a, a D note to an E note to an A uh, on the two. And then an open A is the exact same thing, except a second ago we were playing an open D. It's that same thing. But it does sound like, uh, it does kind of give me the sensation like the notes are being played together here in the chorus. It adds a little tension if you want to try it. But continuing from what I was just playing there for the chorus is, uh, uh, excuse me, you got the five. Well, you are good. And then five of the A, two of the D, two of the G, and an open A. And it's just going to do that four times. I'm going to back it up. Because I forget what happens after this. I guess it goes, it goes to that. You're never going to let, never going to let me down. the rhythm was different but you know what just do what you're doing make make the little tweaks when you're there if, if you need to um here it is at the you're never gonna let Sorry, I, I, now I can tell I'm too loud. But I can pull myself down. Uh, I needed to adjust the volume. I'm sure it's going to be different now than what it was. Uh, so right here, you're just going to play octaves for the A note, 5 of the E, 7 of the D. It does that for a minute, and... Uh, I know the song, so I can kind of sing it to myself, but it seems like it does that around a whole time, and then it starts to change notes, so it's going to go from the uh, A, and actually, yeah, let's just go ahead and cover the notes, because they're going to be played as it leads into the, uh, the solo part. Uh, you got the A, D is directly down, so now five of the A, seven of the G. And then the E is a whole step away from D, so take that five and move it to seven. So now you're playing seven and nine. Uh, I forget if it goes there or not to the F sharp on nine and 11. But let's see. Way too loud. <laughs> Let me play the track and see what, what it's like with it. And I, I'm gonna back it up a little bit. Good enough, I guess. So now we're gonna change this time. The 
inteiro Okay, so right there, when they're going to the F sharp, is when you start the lead pattern. So you just go to the up and to the E. So A five. I'm gonna reference just the root notes again. Five of the E. Five of the A. Seven. Uh, I personally would want to do it right here, but proximity-wise. Uh, I don't you, you can do it where you where you feel most comfortable actually right here again proximity from there it just seems easier to do it here so and actually how I'm gonna do this is reference the root note but understand we are going to be bending uh, adding a, the string above and bending into the pitch it's gonna be our pitches are gonna be nine of the uh, E or 14 just like earlier to nine of the B back to, or not back to, but up to 10 of the B and then either back to 14 or nine. Uh, it seems like he kind of alternates between going back to that nine or the C sharp note and the E note, which would be five of the uh, B. Uh, but I, I'll investigate that as we're playing. But so now, in terms of bending, the only one that would be a different shape would be the um, if you play the C sharp on the high E, you would need to grab 12 of the uh, B to make that bend. Uh, for the other ones, it's just two frets different. So, for instance, the second note nine of the B, I would uh, add my 11 of the uh, G. Like so, and it's going to keep doing that, basically. Uh, I'm going to back it up a little bit. So as I was saying, so, well, yeah, he only got to do it once, but he does go to the E. So when it first goes into it, uh, think of, think of that first initial time. Cause it is like the last time before it goes into the course as you start to play a lead. So when the pattern starts, you play the, the, let's call that one a, the mm -hmm. one that the last time of the, what's the first one you're playing, that's the A. You're going to play A again. Then you're going to play B. B is going to be, instead of going back to the C sharp note, going to the E note on five. Uh, then you play A again, and then we're going to have C. C is the ending where it goes up there, in which case now we do have to go to the E. They wouldn't let us get away from it. Uh, so it's going to be 14 of the E. 16 of the E and then 17 of the E. So then bending. And then I'm guessing you'd go back to playing rhythm right there because the other guitar takes over. Um, 
Hey, if that is crazy though, you, as far as replicating those notes, you could go to uh, non, or at least I, I can recall a time anyway when I didn't feel so comfortable doing that. I mean, I still feel like I don't feel comfortable doing it, but through doing it over and over, I feel a little bit better about it. Uh, but the notes are F sharp, so you can play that on uh, seven of the B, nine of the B, ten. And that would be it, so. Same thing. Let me back it up just a hair and let it keep going. We're almost done. It's uh, like a minute. Yeah, so the ending of that, you would just uh, just play uh, just play the rhythm chords, and I say the rhythm chords. To me, I wouldn't play those first initial ones that we were playing. I would play the lower register, uh, two of the E, four of the A, keeping it straight for the uh, the D two, the E, the D, and the A. I know you know all those chords. Uh, yep, that's it. And here we yet again have a 30 minute video. I didn't plan on that, but it is what it is. And I bet you know those parts. So good luck up there till we meet again.